everyone, it's TV Girl from Voice of TV, and I'm going to be reviewing Boardwalk Empire Season 3, Episode 5, You'd Be Surprised. First, let's talk about Jip and Arnold Rothstein and Nucky. Nucky is getting a little scared because we know he can't really push around AR, and he knows that. And AR does not want to go to war over Nucky's foolish business mistakes and his Billy Kent obsession. Not to mention, AR does do business with Jip's boss. And AR is a through and through businessman, so this isn't surprising, and I don't really blame him. Nucky is so worried that he actually goes to check on Margaret and the kids, so really, everything was up in the air at the moment to him. And Nucky is obsessed with Billy Kent. AR is right, or at least deeply, weirdly concerned. He's so perturbed by her show shutting down that he muscles Eddie with Chalky's help into agreeing to break his contract and perform with Billy. Is this really worth it, Nucky? Where are your priorities? Over 10 men died last episode partially because of you, and you're just focusing on these trivial things. I did enjoy Eddie singing to Chalky, though. That was pretty funny, and I loved how he went from total goofball to suddenly, okay, fine, I'll effing do it, or something along those lines. So, AR and Jip meet, and I can't believe it, they're making a deal? But I'm really suspicious of this, and we're still not certain whose side AR is really on. Honestly, it's going to be whoever can make him the most money. Oh, and Jip almost has another blow up or murder over the poor paper boy. Oh, Jip. So, AR does decide to take out Jip, which is really inevitable. He does this through Bugsy, who pretends to be a paper boy. And Jip is having his freaky sex again. Not surprised, though. If you've taken any psych courses, lots of men who have extreme amounts of power like to be sexually dominated. A little dangerous, though. Just a tad. Anyway, there are four fatalities, but Jip manages to make it. Of course. And we saw him completely naked, which was a bit of a shock. And if you dream about Bobby Cannavale naked, that's probably not what you had in mind. Anyway, it's good he survived, I guess. He's too interesting to die yet. But really, we can't drag this out forever, either. Well, Van Alden surely has taken a dark turn. He had a real scare there when he thought the feds were on to him, and when it was actually just about his tax forms, but it made him almost tell Sigrid the truth. And wow, he ends up killing the agent just because he wanted a refund on the iron. But after Sigurd beats the hell out of him, I guess Van Alden decided that, hey, if he doesn't kill him, he's going to get busted. And finally, we have the O'Banion conversation. It's about time. I would love to see Van Alden gangster style. Anyone? Margaret's story is still really stalling. Not enough women are showing to the class, and there's an incredibly awkward moment when she runs into Billy and Nucky at the clothing store where she used to work at. And I love the conversation between Nucky and Margaret later. When Nucky talks about Billy being able to take care of herself, Margaret says, I think that might prove difficult for you. Oh, snap. But since Nucky's life is so out of control, I guess he feels the need to control at least Billy Kent. Point is, Nucky isn't used to women not being totally dependent on him, and Billy being kind of a free spirit is just not going to be easy for him and probably, well, very likely will not have a happy ending. Jillian returns this episode, and she's having some money issues. Uncle June, I mean Leander, is telling her how much trouble they're in, and Jillian needs a loan. But Leander says that Jimmy really needs to be declared dead. And Jillian is just totally delusional in a sad way and can't accept that Jimmy is dead, even writing him a letter, begging him to come home. Overall, this episode was pretty good, but definitely a downgrade from last week. I don't mind episodes void of violence at all, but this episode kind of felt like it was all over the place. Maybe that was the point, but I honestly was a little bored at times, and I'm tired of several of these storylines, mostly with Margaret's. Also, Jip has too many lives. Like I said, part of me does want him to stay around just because he's great for entertainment purposes, but it's getting out of control. Despite a lot of internet hatred towards Billy Kent, I do enjoy how she's used to reflect Nucky's life being totally out of control and she's his outlet. It was nice to see Chalky back, although it was a little weird for him to be doing that kind of work at his caliber. This is Chalky we're talking about. I like how they keep Jimmy alive through Jillian and other ways. Her being totally, her being totally delusional is a little sad. 
I'm getting really annoyed about the absence of Richard. Have the writers ran out of ideas for him? This is the second episode in a row. People love Richard, especially me. So more Richard, please. Thank you. <laughs> so, for some unanswered questions and predictions. Is Jip going to die once and for all? I'm guessing it's either next episode or the one after. Is Nucky going to snap out of it and take control of his life and let go of this bizarre Billy Kent obsession? You can't control everything, Nucky. You're not God. What is Jillian going to do? Can she finally accept that Jimmy's gone? Her brothel going under would be a disaster. Is Van Alden going to get involved in the crime scene now? That would be an interesting twist. The deadpan Van Alden becoming gangster. It's kind of laughable to even think about, but when you really think about it, he's a pretty scary looking guy. And like I said before, although his life as a salesman is incredibly thrilling, I have to believe the writers have more in store for him than that. Next time on Boardwalk moves so fast I could barely keep up, but thankfully Richard appears to be back, hopefully longer than for two minutes. It also looks like maybe Jip is after Margaret. There seems to be a lot of chaos with her and her children in the house. Well, thanks for watching and check out more of my video reviews on shows like Homeland, The Walking Dead, Dexter, Sons of Anarchy, and more, all at thevoiceoftv.com, the Voice of TV YouTube channel, and tvgirl.net. See you next week.